Okay, let's try this again because I just did a video and I went 10 minutes and 27 seconds and uh, I guess that's just too much for Mr. YouTube, 10 minutes and 27. How come some people can do 11 minutes and stuff? I guess it's, is it because of their, uh, their views or something like that? I don't know. But anyway, this is how uh, the strategy I use. Um, I use, uh, I was buying physical silver and I figured if I just bought the physical silver, I have to wait for all these price fluctuations up to 20 down to 9 bucks. The bank's knocking the price down. I think I can take advantage of that uh, and, and eliminate that power over me by trading the ETF. So I decided to uh, leave my money in my brokerage account, and uh, as I make profits in the ETF, I can pull it out and buy more physical. So if they want to play their games and sell their little short positions, I can take advantage of that and pull more real silver off the market, and we can we can turn their strength against them. Uh, we can use their strength against them because the more the physical comes off the market, it's not being sold, the more trouble they're going to be in when they have to deliver and they're not. They're going to default big time and uh, price is going to skyrocket. I think they're hoarding it on the side as they hold it down with their shorts. They're 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 buying it up because these people aren't stupid. They're not going to just let silver go to the moon and not take advantage of it. They're actually going to make it happen. So I don't think anything happens by accident. This is all this is all controlled. And if you can just figure out uh, how they think, uh, the di how their diabolical thinking works, um, you can you can be on both sides of the coin, just like they are. They're they're not on one side of the coin, just at at someone else's mercy. Like, please don't make gas prices go up. Well, now we don't have to worry about that because we can buy gas in the, in the market. If gas goes up, we're just going to make our money back in the market. If food goes up, we can make it back in the market. If oil goes up, if oil, if silver, gold, inflation goes up, we'll be increasing our buying power. So. It's really all about buying power. Remember that. So, yeah, I don't care what kind of money you're making. Um, you, your money needs to gain buying power, so it buys more tomorrow than it does now, instead of less. Uh, right now, your dollars are buying less. So. Uh, the strategy I use uh, it just plays the law of averages. It's kind of like a blackjack game, or you know, in poker, you got the uh, some of the same people always at the final table. It's like you know. Is this rigged or something? No. It's just that they figured out the math, and they look at the players, and they figure out the laws of probability, and and they apply those laws of probability, and they're at peace with their decisions because they know they think they have a high chance of winning the hand. They'll go all in, and they, they it's just math. It's all math. You can solve any problem with math because math causes all problems, and you can solve any, any problem with math, so I believe. Um, what else? Yeah, I use the strategy to uh, I usually uh, tell you uh, what chances has it going higher, what chances has it going lower. Lower. Right now, it's about it has a chance of probably about 30% to move higher and 70% to move lower from here. Uh, like, so I've been watching charts long enough to know uh, to see that these charts they, f they they just do the same patterns over and over and over. It takes a lot of patience, but patience equals profit because the money you're not losing by being in stupid trades is money added to your account. You just made money by being patient. You make money by being short. You make money by being out of a stock when it's moving down. Like I was in silver when it was 11 bucks. My 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 strategy said to sell at 13.75. My stop loss was was triggered. I made 2.75 on the on the SLV, and now I was out all the way down to 12.50. Well, I mean, that's money added to my account because I wasn't in the stock, and now I can buy it 1250 and write it back up. But we don't. This is a very. This is an aggressive trading strategy. Um, you could buy now and have a 30% chance of making money, but I like to wait until the the. I like to wait until the probability of something going higher the very next day is at least 80%. So um, I'm very good at this. Uh, I was in the. Uh, we all know about the CNBC Million Dollar Portfolio Challenges. Um, well, I've, I've played that game three times, and I learned a lot. The first time I did it, I finished in the top 12%. And these are usually just a little bit more than a million people involved. So I was in the top 12% the first time I tried it. I didn't really figure it out. The second time, I finished in the top 0.2%. So in the top two-tenths of 1% out of a million people. And the third time I tried it was just last year. If they had had that contest in November when we had that big crash, I know I could have been in the finals. I don't know if I would have won, but I could have been in the finals. Uh, because the second day of the contest, when we had a big market drop, I was long the inverse funds, and I figured out which four funds 
were outperforming the rest of the funds, and three of the four funds I picked were the top three movers in the entire market, and I own three of them. Um, so uh, I got home that night, and I was in sixth place. In out of there were only about 450,000 people in there, but I was in sixth place. I thought I could be in first, but uh, so sixth place was good. But I, I, I wait for the probabilities, and then I pay the prob play the probabilities, and it works. Um, I I haven't really been applying it a lot in the in the last few years, so I'm not a millionaire, but I know that you're patient and you can apply this and think in terms of years instead of days. Uh, you can accumulate a lot of money. Uh, what else? Yeah, just stay tuned. I only got a couple minutes left. I'm not going over this time. It sucks to do this twice. Uh, let's see. Um, yes, yeah, so just follow along every day. I date every every video I do except for these because they're instructional. Um, so you can go back in time and look what the, bring up the chart for big charts. I use bigcharts.com. They're free. And I have a video with all the parameters I use on the left side. If you don't know all of them, then I'll do another video about it. And I use Options Express because their, their commissions are low. Uh, but just know you should always own some physical and then use some extra money to trade the SLV to make give yourself a chance. And we can talk about options. At some, I think silver goes up about 25, 30 bucks. I'm going to start talking about options because options will absolutely kill anything. They'll outperform anything. If the silver is going to go up, it's going to outperform it's by 10 times, by a factor of 10. You can make you can make an ungodly amount of money with options, but we can be very careful. We're only going to put profit into options. We're going to use a little bit of our profit to put into options. So if silver does go up, we can either protect ourselves with the right kind of options if silver moves down, or we can take advantage of the move up and, and really leverage some money. So stay tuned. It should be getting fun here pretty soon. Um, I'll uh, see you Monday.